Praise God, folks. This is old truth speaker. Been a while. I know I've been busy, you know. Have you ever noticed how, how the world is spinning out of control? We've talked a little bit about this before. But the name of this, this is going to be brief because it's really alarming and, and things are really going to speed out of control and get worse. Prophecy. USA, Russia, the Middle East, and Israel. World War Three. Have you noticed how everything in the Middle East is, as a matter of fact, the whole world is spiraling out of control? Have you noticed especially Russia? And, and how it's trying to re revive or, or put the, trying to uh, uh, bring back the, uh, the old Soviet Union. And how the United States has pulled back and has, 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 has seemed to be war weary. And you see all the trouble in the Middle East. Could this be the prophecy that was spoken of in Ezekiel chapter 38? In chapter 39? Let me read. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against God, the land of Megog, the chief prince of Messes and Tubal, and prophesy against him, and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Messes and Tubal, and I will turn thee back, and put hooks in thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thy army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with buckler and shield. Persia, Ethiopia, Libya. Strange, right? All of them, all of them with shields and and helmets. Gobar and all his bands. The house of Togobar of the north quarter and all his bands and many people with him. Sheba, Didan, and the merchants of Tarsus, with all the young lions thereof. Well, we won't go into that right now. Does it sound like to you, is Magog, Gog, the land of Russia? Is that the Russian, the, the whole Russian Empire? Is that it? It says in scripture that Russia is going to attack. Well, some people put it this way, uh, Gog Megog is going to attack Israel. Does that fit the description of modern day Russia? Because we have a problem. The whole United, the whole Middle East and the Arab Spring is leading towards something. The formation of a united Islamic state with one leader. And the Bible says that they're going to when Israel dwells in peace and safety, Magog and all his bands will attack. Uh, it's, it's, this is pretty disturbing news. As you know, faith in God, Christianity, or the belief in one God is, is under attack. The belief in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If you notice, you can say anything, any type of religion, their leaders, Confucius, anybody, any of their prophets, if that's what you want to call them. But if you mention Joshua HaMashiach or Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you realize how, what the, you, have you noticed the negative attitude that you get? They'll say everything that you learned and read in the Bible, you're wrong. You, uh, you're politically incorrect. But as soon as you mention Jesus, but if you mention some other prophet, they're all for you. They won't say anything. Even in our schools. And it's just not here. It's the whole world. We're heading towards a one world government. And this is pretty alarming. As we see, this is a call to all of us. Spread the word that people should repent and come back to God. Give yourself to the Lord. Because pretty soon, you won't be able to buy or sell. You see how quick things are spiraling out of control? Now, 
it's alarming to see how Putin, a former KGB agent, <laughs> is really trying to revive the old woman empire. And, and we know, matter of fact, in the scripture, where it says Iran, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya, and a host of other countries, Middle Eastern countries, I might add. You ever notice one thing about the, 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 the nuclear program in Iran? Now, all you have to go do is Google it. Russia is a key partner in the development of Iran's nuclear program, but they claim not the nuclear bomb. No, you can't trust. Okay, I don't have to go there. What about Syria? The only reason why the Syrian government is still there, what is, it, what is his name? Bashar al -Assad, I can't pronounce it. Anyway, that's irrelevant. But you know what I'm talking about. The only reason that Syria still exists is because of their reliance on Russia. That's where a lot of their weapons come from. And they gave, Russia gave Syria, uh, uh, they, let's put it this way, abolished the $13 billion loan that Syria took out from uh, Russia. Strange, huh? I tell you, we're in a world, we're about to see a major military confrontation take place. And it's time to repent. Because, you know, in one scripture, I'm just going to tell you this. This is just a call to the Lord. It says, when they attack, the Lord says, my fury will rise up. Mm. Praise God. Mm. The Lord said he's going to come against them on the hill. He'll destroy them. And I'm trying to be brief with this. This goes on and on and on. But I want you to know that God is in control. He's not asleep. It's time to repent and spread the word. Repent and spread the word of God. Because pretty soon, you'll have to hide. Right here in America, they're going to kill Christians. Do you see Washington? Do you see Obama, what he's doing? Do you see what, matter of fact, do you see the policies of Washington now? Do, do you see that? They're telling Israel, Obama want Israel to give back some of their land, some of Israel, to the Palestinians. Friends, repent. Give your life over to the Lord. We don't have that much time. Like I said, a major military confrontation is getting ready to take place right over there. But my question to you is, will you repent? Matter of fact, read the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38 and 39. Mm -hmm. My God. Thou shalt fall upon the mountains of Israel, thou and all thy band, and the people that are with thee. I will give thee unto the ravenous bird of every sort and the beast of the field. This is Isaiah 30, this is Ezekiel 39, chapter 4, 5, and 6. Be careful, saints. Pray. Pray for this whole world. Because we're going to be, there's going to be nuclear bombs slinging. One, and I'm going to quit. In one uh, verse it says, their eyes will melt in their sockets and their flesh off their bones before they hit the ground. So pray. God bless you.